ABC is one of the first animal sanctuaries I volunteered at long term. I met loads of individuals there, and two of them stuck out in particular, a couple of donkeys named Starsky and Hutch. Starsky and I in particular had a special bond. If I kneeled down, he'd come over and touch his nose to mine. Over time, we got to know each other, and if I wasn't at the sanctuary for a while, he'd come over, give me a few smells to make sure he knew who I was, and then nestle into me. One of my favorite memories is when Starsky would come over and lay his head on my shoulders. He'd even wrap his head and neck around mine. Even though he was much bigger than me, he was very gentle. Hutch would join in sometimes too. I always try to let the other animals choose to interact with me. This has led to some special memories I won't soon forget. When Starsky wraps his neck and head around mine, it makes me ask myself the question, do donkeys hug? I like to think that they do, but even if they didn't, that doesn't change their moral value. My interactions with other animals like Starsky remind me that they're all unique individuals with a life and story of their own that are completely irreplaceable. It's hard to say if Starsky enjoyed these moments as much as I did. Either way, I think it's safe to say that we both experience life through a wide array of emotions such as happiness, sadness, and fear, and like all animals, have a valid claim to basic moral rights that would be violated if we were used. You want to interact, eh? You are trouble. You being- Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a little, a little unexpected. Thanks for watching, and for free resources, such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com. Thanks for watching.